paradigm shift. An educational comedy. It's not a cause. Not a movement. It's not a social group you can slap a label on to. It's, it's an, an idea. idea. It's an intention. It's an intuition. A mindset in which reality can be explored. It's a genuine expression. A certain Critical thinking and imagination. To look inward upon ourselves. To better understand the external world around us. And yes, two egos are bound to be bruised. With our silly, zany, politically incorrect. Your kind of style of going about things. Real, Real and raw honesty. Which invites you. To be to the fullest. The communitarian dialectic. How to easily make all sides of any argument into controlled opposition by creating dichotomy. So first, you start out with your terminology and the original meaning and context of that terminology. And I list uh, some examples of common terminology. Love, hate, racism, sexism, diversity, bigotry, capitalism, communism, socialism, liberal, conservative, centrist, libertarian, democrat, anarchy, statism, government, religion, spirituality, gay, queer, gender, identity, tolerance, vegan, terrorism, civilization, sustainability, conspiracy, security, liberty, freedom, friend, enlightened, awake, woke, etc. So then... You take whatever the existing buzzword is, the existing terminology, and, you know, what it actually means, and you twist it. You create a left-right paradigm dichotomy. Distraction and contrived conflict cause collective amnesia. The words and terms now mean whatever the talking heads claim they mean. No other perspectives are allowed. Totalitarian control through manipulation is achieved. And this is doesn't matter if you're watching CNN, if you're watching Fox, if you're watching Alex Jones. It doesn't matter. This, you know, this whole setup of the of the dichotomy is to put blinders on, mind narrowers. So it doesn't matter what view that you take. Um you're still locking in on this dialectic and, um, you know, the distraction and hit pieces and all that continue to create the collective amnesia, bringing people farther and farther away from the uh, original terminology, original meaning and context, which creates the inverted doublespeak. Um, refer to, to uh, the movie and or book 1984 for that one and the movie and or book uh, Brave New World. Um, you know, that, that, um, displays those concepts, uh, very, very accurately. Okay, so through this process, you've got this, um, this new twisted, distorted, inverted, uh, left-right paradigm dichotomy. So, two halves of the exact same one singular agenda, but because no one sees it, these two halves are set against each other by design. So you have thesis and antithesis. So the thesis is the the group that's in favor of all the things. And the antithesis is the group that is against all the things. You know, for common example, um, SJWs versus anti-SJWs. The SJWs would be the thesis and the anti-SJWs would be the antithesis. So together... Both are the positive and negative leads of one battery. This battery powers a perceptual engine which rejects any school of thought that challenges the dichotomy being maintained by this engine. Which again is per previous example, that's why people who are anti-SJWs kind of become their own form of SJW, disagree with them about anything, and suddenly you're being accused of being an 
anti, or excuse me, being accused of um, being an SJW or a communist or whatever, you know, they get triggered and they have their own identity politic, you know, similar to the SJW. So it's the same behavior by both groups, but coming at it from two different angles. So both groups are just two sides of the whole. So that leads us to synthesis. With synthesis, three new dichotomies are formed. Dichotomy number one. The two sides of each dichotomy fight until they destroy each other. The phoenix that rises from those ashes creates a brand new dichotomy. Dichotomy number two. The thesis group suffers infighting as an inevitable result of the dialectic. This splits the group into new dichotomies, which each have their own thesis antithesis their own thesis antithesis structures. Dichotomy three: the antithesis group suffers in fighting as an inevitable result of the dialectic. This splits the group into dichotomies, which each have their own thesis antithesis structures. Um, Example of a thesis group that eats itself, you know, would be the intersectional uh, SJWs themselves or, you know, socialist Marxists, that sort of thing. One Marxist thinks they're more Marxist than another, so they get rid of the other Marxists and so on and so forth. Or the, the SJWs that get uh, triggered by each other, you know, like the the video of um, the American socialists or whatever the, the hell they were called or communist meeting, whatever that was. Paul Joseph Watson did some things on it, as did other people. But to where they couldn't even discuss any any topics because they were too busy discussing how triggered they were getting about each other's uh, uses of, of language. So, um, you know, that's an example of the the um, SJWs dividing in and of themselves and eating themselves. Um, so they're a thesis group. An, anti an, antithes yeah, an antithesis group, excuse me. Um, one example would be the truth movement, or as I like to call them, the untruth movement. Um, they are dividing and sub subdividing and, you know, eating themselves. If you disagree with uh, any of them, suddenly you're COINTELPRO, paid opposition, quid pro quo, you're, you're a member of the Illuminati, blah, blah, this, that. You know, it's, it's, it's so you, you see where this is going on that. Okay, so, um... This eventually moves into the end game. The only thing which can stop this process is a continuous raise in public awareness of the existence of this dialectic, hence why this diagram has been created in the first place. The math shows the simplicity. Ten people make ten more people aware, who each make ten more people aware, etc. If, however, for any reason this continued raise in awareness is somehow completely stopped, then the dialectic plays out to its final conclusion, which looks like this. Once the communitarian dialectic, also known as the Hegelian dialectic, aka problem, reaction, solution, has completely eroded society, what you are left with is a completely crippled, broken, beaten, and destroyed population with no ability to think critically, no creativity, no life, no hope, no dreams, no aspirations for self-improvement, no nothing. At this point, you can impose any systems of society, government, religion, etc. on the population with zero resistance against you. Humanity has now, at this point, been completely beaten into submission. Now, seeing as diagrams like this exist and videos like this exist, we're clearly not at the endgame point yet. Awareness is still continuing to rise. You know, we, you know, the world hasn't gone so completely into nihilism that everything is hopeless. So, we're not there yet. So, let's not ever get there. Uh, let's keep these understandings and awarenesses flowing to all those who are willing to receive it. And as you can see, the only mind-blowing thing about this is just how fucking simple the scam is. I mean, look at this. It is such a simple freaking scam. It's like, it's like, like, you know, the same um, basis of high school gossip. Like, it is so freaking simple. 